What's going on my broskies, my name is Toadski back again, here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video, and today we're going ahead and showcasing one of the other 8th anniversary characters that I was lucky enough to pull on part 1 of the Sugo Fest, and that is going to be the Hancock, Nami, and Robin character, otherwise known as the waifu character, of course, because, I mean, there's a little something for everyone in this unit, right? Uh, this unit is a pretty interesting design unit, and for those of you who don't know how this character is going to be structured moving forward, in terms of their relationship, Release. This character is not considered a Super Sugo Fest exclusive character. They mentioned in the official post that this is a character that is going to uh, reappear in Sugo Fest that are like major celebratory events. They did specifically mention anniversaries and half anniversaries, but you know, other events could be like New Year celebrations, potentially One Piece Day, or any other major celebratory event for whatever reason. This is a character that could potentially return on those banners. This character also does have a final tap which we will talk about in this video as well so pulling dupes of this character is obviously useful to level up that final tap and just to preemptively say because i know i'm going to get the question this is not a character that you would want to feed final tap tablets to and i'm pretty sure it's it's pretty self-explanatory but i i just know that there's going to be people asking that question so let's go ahead and start talking about the unit. What does this character actually do? So they're a strength unit, but they're also a striker and a free spirit. So really good class and type combination. Works very well with all of the other Sugo Fest exclusives that are released in this Sugo Fest batch. But their captain ability will heal five times their recovery at the end of each turn. And as a captain, they allow you to overheal. So you can see right now, look at the amount of healing that we get with that overheal, like 60,000 HP with this team. And we're healing for essentially 10,000 every single turn. It's, it's, incredible actually and then they give you an attack boost to striker and free spirit characters depending on how much you had healed in the previous turn i'm not too sure at this point in time in terms of how much you need to heal in order to get what multiplier but it's a range between 4.5 times boost to a 5.25 times boost i'm going to take a quick guess and just say that 10,000 is going to be the max cap and so that will allow you to reach that 5.25 times multiplier so overall it's just healing allow you to overheal and an attack boost so it's a pretty plain captain effect and doesn't have a lot going for it unfortunately so there's no hp boost there's no damage reduction um there's no matching slots either which would have been a nice touch so you know the, the captain ability is pretty basic the uh super type effect remember this is a super type unit so it will make strength characters become super strength the condition very easy to fulfill you just need five characters that are either free spirit or striker very easy and then the actual super type special will heal 25 percent of your crew's max hp and that does overheal as well and will also remove six turns of bind so it's a very weird super type special i personally would have preferred if it allowed you to get some matching slots i think that would have been a really good benefit to this unit uh but overall the, the super type special doesn't really provide that much because i mean number one if this character is binded you can't use the super type special to unbind your characters and also this character already provides amazing healing as a captain so why would you need to get the 25 percent heal it is a little bit strange not gonna lie very bizarre uh, super type special uh, i'm not too sure if this character was just kind of thrown together at last minute or did they actually test this design because i feel like there is a couple of different tweaks i would have personally done to make the character more viable as a captain but i mean when you have a look at the rest of the kit this character is definitely designed to be used as a crewmate right so the special ability of this character will reduce the cooldowns of all characters by one it also reduces paralysis and attack down by eight turns and then it will allow you to overheal for one turn and heals 60 times this character's recovery. So if you do use it as a crewmate, pretty good healing capabilities there. And then if you have full HP when you launch the special, you get a 2.75 times color affinity boost to both free spirit and striker characters. Otherwise, if you're not at full HP, it's still a 2.5 times color affinity boost. 
So the thing is, this is the highest color affinity boost that we have in the game. That's obviously fantastic. It is only for strike and free spirit, so that does kind of suck. But at the end of the day, it's a humongous color affinity boost. And if for some reason you're using like Roger and Newgate, for example, um, if you use Roger's special ability um, on Roger's side of that unit, he actually buffs color affinities by 0.5. So realistically, you could get potentially a 3.25 times color affinity boost with this special launched and then Roger Newgate. So that's obviously pretty dope. And I think the utility of this unit, being able to remove eight turns of paralysis and attack down, that's the key thing and into why I think this unit is going to see somewhat play in the future. Um, because when you have a look at other characters like that, such as like Halloween Boa Hancock when she came out, that character really didn't see a lot of play as a captain, but still sees a pretty decent amount of play as a crewmate because it has amazing utility that is pretty hard to replace, but it also does provide a really unique boost of a chain lock and also base attack boost. So this character provides a unique effect in providing the best color affinity boost in the game and allows you to overheal and it gives you a pretty substantial recovery at that too. So if you just really compare this unit to the other 8th anniversary characters, characters it's no question that this is the least desirable character to have out of the four debuting legends but another thing that makes this unit a little bit more desirable is the crewmate effects so we've seen with the rare recruits they have some very unique crewmate effects that um, we hadn't seen before this batch right we have like the Zoro who can buff color affinity boosts when he attack we have the Sanji and the Jack that can buff chain boosts if he has a tandem slot when he attacks um, I believe the Queen applied the resistance down to Striker and Powerhouse, so they, they get a bonus 10% bonus damage, which is just crazy. And then Rare Recruit King can buff attack boosts if he has a tandem or a Wano slot. So we've seen in this batch that, you know, some of these characters have pretty absurd effects that we hadn't seen before. And this character also provides things like that with their crewmate effect, with that first sailor effect being able to reduce your entire crew's cooldown by one turn at the start of the quest, which is so obscene. Being able to just reduce all cooldowns by one at the start is something we have not seen before as well, and I like that. It means you can just chuck this unit on a team to increase the speed, which is something really, really cool. And then the secondary crewmate effect is really neat, as it allows you to get an additional 1,000 healing per turn. So just with this unit as a sub and your auto heal sockets, 2,000 heal per turn. If you have the liberal hind, it ends up being 3,000 heal per turn. And you can just imagine all the healing that can stack up just from that alone. So while this unit isn't as powerful as some of the other 8th anniversary characters, I also respect the uniqueness of the character, which means that there are going to be niche situations in the future where you really wish you had this unit. Um, so it is going to be interesting to see how they plan the release of this character in the future, because I know not everyone is going to get their hands on this unit during the 8th anniversary, but I hope that this character becomes a little bit more accessible in the future, because I feel like there are going to be a lot of niche circumstances where you really want this unit just for the crewmate effects alone, and also because of a really powerful utility special it's not like this unit is irreplaceable in a lot of circumstances there isn't really content out there that i can think of where it's like if you don't have this unit you can't beat it right but this is going to be a nice little uh, option for you in team building for free spirit or striker based teams but with all of that that is going to wrap up this video today thank you so much for watching if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video. どうしたらいいよ。<笑>